Madam Speaker, I want to thank Honourable uh, Polititi for <coughs> asking this question. Um, uh, good diversion from the uh, uh, discussion that we just had. <coughs> uh, Madam Speaker, watershed is a technical term, but let me give a, a simple definition of watershed. It is uh, a collection bed of water for waterways, Madam Speaker. So all the water that you see in the waterways, in the various rivers and tributaries, uh, basically are collected in the watershed. So um, uh, ability to get water in the waterways depends on how we manage this watershed, which is the collection point of water, Madam Speaker. <coughs> so Madam Speaker, um, watershed management is a process uh, to maintain the balance between this ecosystem of uh, watershed that we have. Um, the major objective of watershed management is to protect the natural resources such as land, soil, water, wildlife, uh, and vegetation from natural disasters and human activity, Madam Speaker. So unless and until, Madam Speaker, we protect and manage this watershed, we will not have enough water for the waterways, and therefore the downstream benefits and downstream activities that depend on the waterways, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, increasing population puts numerous pressures on land utilization forcing to use fragile, marginal uh, land, which are susceptible to management through human activities and subject to degradation. So, Madam Speaker, watershed can be categorized into uh, the lower and the upper watershed. So we've got the uh, watershed right upstream, uh, which is the initial uh, starting collection point. And also, we also have uh, uh, watersheds downstream, the floodplains. The watershed lies downstream in the plains subjected to flooding. So these are the areas where you also have not only collection point, but also have waterways spilling over and you know, affecting these flood plains. So Mr. Speaker, that is the point, that is the place downstream where we undertake various uh, flood mitigation activities such as river dredging, um, uh, flood control measures, uh, um, dikes and, you know, um, 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 uh, flood gates, etc. There is the upper catchment lies upstream along the valleys and rolling hills up to the ridges, which contribute to, uh, the, to the filling up of the uh, waterways or flooding of the waterways. Madam Speaker, in, in the upper uh, catchment, we have retention dams and reservoirs, which are required to regulate the water flows. So, what actually, uh, Madam Speaker, what we do upstream is to kind of smooth down the flow of water in cases where there's a major rain and suddenly the volume of water increases in waterways is we develop or construct retention dams. So upstream, in various major rivers, for example, in the case of Nendi, the Nen uh, Nawaka River uh, and the Nendi River, what we do upstream is you construct a dam there. So when there's a major rainfall, the water collects in the dam and that kind of slows down the initial gushing of water down and therefore flooding the downstream flood plain. <coughs> so at the moment, Madam Speaker, what we have is four retention dam up uh, in, in the Nandi uh, watershed. Two in the Nandi River upstream and two in Nawaka River. <coughs> Madam Speaker, in the last two to three decades, the population in Nandi uh, uh, has um, uh, increased uh, by a substantial uh, number. And the increasing population has led to the expansion of the township and residential settlements. Hence, uh, there is increasing pressure on limited land in the uh, uh, flood plains and rolling hills available for cultivation of uh, agriculture, Madam Speaker. And there is two effects, Madam Speaker, uh, that, that leads to land degradation, which affects the watershed man management at the lower level. Madam Speaker, the uh, scarcity and continued management of land and soil vegetation, <coughs> marine life and water resources pose a serious threat to food security, uh, human health and environment sustainable agriculture development. The pressure to conserve natural resources has increased due to rapid population growth, uh, watershed destruction and land dis destruct degradation. So, Madam Speaker, there is a uh, lot of pressure, a uh, lot of pressure both upstream and downstream upstream in terms of uh, two effects. One is conversion of the natural um, forest into agriculture land. And second is deforestation, which is 
uh, logging metal speaker. So both of these two activity metal speaker contributes to uh, kind of destruction of the natural watershed, which is the collection point of water for the water waste metal speaker. Downstream metal speaker, downstream is basically um, uh, land degradation due to uh, conversion of natural um, uh, forest into agricultural land metal speaker. So this is, uh, these are the two challenges that we are facing metal speaker. One is the uh, effect of deforestation on watershed, which is the collection point for water. And the second is conversion of natural uh, forest into agricultural land. Both of those two are inevitable metal speaker. There will be uh, uh, logging and there will be people moving into new land for agricultural production. So the question, Madam Speaker, and the challenge is how do we, how do we sustain this practice? Allow those two at the same time ensure that these two activities does not pose a real threat of reducing the volume of water in our, in our waterways which is contributing or assisting us in terms of hydro um, electricity production in terms of um, the water for household sector, water for the agriculture sector. So Madam Speaker, quite a bit of studies has been done, uh, particularly by JICA, uh, with respect to uh, Nandi watershed. And, uh, and because of this, uh, the first uh, uh, project was to uh, construct retention dam. But Madam Speaker, the major task that needs to be undertaken going forward is to um, uh, undertake uh, a, a major awareness, awareness and education campaign amongst the population both upstream and downstream, not only in Nandi but in all the areas of Fiji about how do we balance between the need to one logging and need to convert natural watersheds, natural forest in, land into agricultural land without affecting the volume of water in our waterways. And I speak out, this is a project that uh, Ministry of uh, Waterways now is uh, liaising with Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Lands to ensure that we, um, uh, we uh, manage our watersheds for not only the current generation but future uh, Fijians in, in, in the country. So, Madam Speaker, the overall objective of the project is one to regulate the stream flows, river discharge capacities, and control excessive runoff, reducing flood damage. Number two is to optimize the usage of surplus water for social and economic growth uh, and increasing in agriculture production without compromising on growth and development to provide water for domestic and irrigation purposes, to increase water yield and maintain water quality, to ensure sustainable use of natural resources, to achieve sound ecological natural balance in the watershed region. Thank you.